average Alberta household is using about 7,200 kilowatt hours of power per year. So the first thing I thought about was, what are we using? Grabbed our, our bills and found out that we were using over 12,000 kilowatt hours a year. So in 2016, we called Great Canadian Solar and had them put the, uh, the solar system on. Carol got to switch the power That's on. Very so exciting. We've now been running uh, solar for, um, for a little bit over a year. It's definitely something that makes the house stand out in the neighbourhood and to know that my parents are some of the first to be doing this and it's exciting to think that they're just going for it and that they're doing it out of care for the environment. So Ron, you've had your system for about a year now, is uh, everything going well? Yeah, no, it works awesome. I don't even have to come into the room. It it's just works. I don't do anything to it. That sounds awesome. Should we go take a look? Yeah, let's go take a look. The solar system is, is completely maintenance free. To be honest with you, I haven't had to touch it since it was installed. It's a box that sits inside your utility room and you don't even know it's there. How easy it's been. The company comes in and installs the system and that's it. I think key if a person is going to consider solar is to do the extra step and learn about where your energy is going and to see what you can do to reduce your energy consumption. We put the energy monitoring display, I put a nice frame around it so that it looks nice and then we can tell on a day-to-day -day basis where our power is going and how much we're generating. It really has made me aware. Um, I'm kind of competitive, <laughs> so, um, so I find that it's always a challenge. So I see the big angry red spikes, I call them angry dryer spikes, you know, when I'm doing laundry. But it reminds me that, okay, that is a huge consumer of power. For the longest time, I was probably someone who uh, kept most of the lights on in the house, but now that we have these monitors kind of just showing all of our production and all of our usage, I'm definitely a lot more mindful of it, so I've reduced my usage for sure. And we now overproduce around 3,400 kilowatt hours a year, which is about the right amount to drive an electric car, a Nissan LEAF, about 20,000 kilometers a year, which is about what Carol drives and that makes the electricity for us worth about 88 cents a kilowatt hour instead of selling it back to the grid which for us right now is worth about 8 cents a kilowatt hour. Since we're using the energy to offset gasoline and oil costs which saves us about $3,000 a year plus the additional savings in the electricity our payback on our solar system is between seven and, and eight years. So you're saving yourself about a thousand watt hours of of power. He's trying to share the knowledge as best that he can and he is very eager and uh, willing to help people with questions. It's cool. I'm proud to, to have him as a dad.